हेलो एवरी वन आई एम सचिन गुप्ता इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट चेनिंग ए पे रिक्वेस्ट वॉट डज इट मीन एंड हाउ कैन बी ऑटोमेट चेनिंग रिक्वेस्ट यूजिंग बाई पोस्टमैन टूल सो द लेट सी द डेफिनेशन डेफिनेशन चेनिंग ए पे रिक्वेस्ट इज अ टेक्निक वेयर यू प्रोग्रामेटिकली मेक मल्टीपल ए पे रिक्वेस्ट टू परफॉर्म अ पर्टिकुलर फंक्शन विद ईच रिक्वेस्ट फीडिंग सब्सिक्वेंट रिक्वेस्ट so what does it mean it means like you are having request 1 and and request 1 response you can use in request 2 and request 2 response you are going to use in request 3 and so on okay so this is chaining okay here you can see request 1 it is the output dependent to request 2 request 2 cannot complete without request 1 and request 3 cannot complete without request 2 so there is a dependency this is a sequence sequence order okay so when request 1 execute then request 2 request 3 so it's called the chaining api request let's see how can we automate using a postman tool in order to automate this type request we are having one very good example of heroku app so heroku app here these are the chaining request let's see how can we automate so here you can see this is a one for where we are going to create token it will help to authorization for the request and then we will create you know one create booking then we will see the booking then we will update the booking then we'll partial update the booking then we'll delete the booking so this is a order it is dependent to each other let's see how can we automate so first request call the create token so let's automate so this is the url or you can copy this curl so i am going to copy this and in postman i created one workspace chaining request let me create one collection as well and collection name i can say hero okay now this is a curl and for this you can go import raw text and here import this you have imported say roku web this is get token this is a get token request save so i just executed this and this is our token and they have given by default username and password so we should not worry to set any username and password this is for only for learning purpose okay so this is the token so this we need to use in next request so what i am going to do i am going to capture this in collection variable so there is a collection variable and here i am creating one variable token and here you can see initial value and current value initial value this value it is going to sync uh, if your repository is public it will sync uh, in the public repository okay current value it is for your local so if you are having any you know credential or any secret so make sure you should use in current value which is not going to sync okay and now i have click on save okay sorry So what I am going to do, I created one variable, and whatever I am getting the token that I I am going to issue in collection variable. So what I'll do, I am going to test. So first I'll these are snippets. So this is by default, you know, by by default test cases. So like if you want to verify status code, just simply click here, and the test case is ready. So two hundred. and just click and if i execute one test case will pass okay so what i am going to do i am going to pm dot response dot json and let this is the response i am capturing arias variable and now i am going to share collection variables so for this a snippet and if you see here set collection variable 
and I have given the name token here you can see here this token and this value I need to set so in response I am getting this token so if I say res dot token and here you can see this is blank I am closing now if I execute this token will set automatically in collection variable see it set okay so now one api has automated and now let's move to next request so i am going to create booking so this is the api for the booking this is a curl and i am going to import and now i am going to save this request and this i am going to give them create booking okay so for create booking this is a body where we need to pass you know couple of details first name last name so what i'll do i'll create few variable so first name last name check in date and check out what else anything more and additional needs okay so this variable i have created so first name i am okay i am not giving here anything and for check in check out i can set so check in let's take this in the same format otherwise it will fail so check in uh, 23 this is a month and for check in i'll say 15th of feb i'm going to check in and check out would be on 17th so check in check out date has set and now this is the first name last name so in pre-request script i'll set the first name and in order to set this is a collection variable so f name here i'm giving my name search in and similar this is the last name okay so first let's execute let's see it is uh, the value is set or not setting or not and here if i see it has set it for sachin gupta sachin first name and gupta is the last name okay so it's working fine now i want to set this value as well additional needs in global variable so i'll this as well and this is the collection variable name so i am saying i want breakfast morning in this booking but uh, in in uh, what what i want i want to make this dynamic value so breakfast not breakfast like breakfast uh, uh, you know one two three something it should be unique value so for this i am going to you know use this dynamic variable so in postman there is a couple of dynamic variable and for this i will use a random integer okay so if you want to set in collection variable then you cannot write directly for this you need to use like this pm dot variables dot replace replace in and this is a breakfast and here okay random integer this is what you need to write and you need to use double curly braces as well okay and 
okay let me execute let's see it is working or not heroku web yeah it is working breakfast 354 so it will pick automatically one random integer between 1 to 1000 okay so this is also set and now in the body is a hard code variable i am use that i have created first name last name and this is the collection variable i have created for this as well for checkout also created one collection variable okay and for this the same name i have given for additional needs and if you want you can see here everything is in place okay so only one thing is hard code total price okay and other values all has replaced in the body okay so when i execute now it will pick you know my name as well as you know uh, you know all the dynamic value okay let's execute here you can see sachin gupta and breakfast 969 same value it will be here all right and now i am getting booking id so now this booking id i want to store in collection variable so how to store go to test so first pm dot response dot json and let's create one value res set collection variable and i want to set this and from response i want to pick this booking id okay and also i want to verify this status code so this is a snippet for the status code 200 okay so this is for capturing the booking id in the collection variable this is the test case in order to verify shares 200 i am going to create one more test case where i will verify you know these details first name last name and if you see here this one okay so pm dot test verify first name okay function and pm dot expect and res dot booking this is one object inside the object there is a key called first name and this i want to verify to equal and this should equal to the you know this one f name collection variable so in order to fetch value from collection variable pm dot collection variable dot get and f name so test case created let's see let me execute two test case should pass see verify first name pulse and this is also pass and similar i can say for last name okay and what else now i am going to verify check in check out dates as well verify check in date and this would be inside booking and then booking dates then check in and pm dot collection variable this would be
check in this is a collection variable called check in and similarly i will verify checkout as well as i am going to verify additional needs this is okay booking and addition leads booking then inside there is a called additional leads and this would be okay so all test cases are ready let's execute so all six test cases has passed you can see here very first name last name check in check out okay and here you can see here everything so whatever it is here and same it is you know uh, verifying with the response if if it is matching with the response then test case is passed all right so create booking is done now let's move to next api what is that is called get booking so for get booking we can use this curl okay this this is the get request okay let's use this one import raw text get booking and this is the booking id and we are having booking id for this i have created you know this collection variable so when last request created right this is i have captured in collection variable and this detail i am going to fetch again and this is fine let me click on send yeah here you can see here i'm able to see the details and same test case we can add for this request as well and 200 this is not required for this okay apart from this one is a first name is fine last name is fine and res in and here here you can see here this is some differences here here this is not okay booking dot last name oh okay there's so response is little different okay so response dot first name okay booking booking is not the object is not there this also need to remove and for check-in date response directly booking dates and check in response booking dates check out and additional needs okay this is you know outside and this you can access from the response okay i think we are good now let me execute this yeah, you can see all six test case pass so get as well it is working now let's move to next request next request called update booking so i'm going to import raw text and this name is called update booking okay and this request is called put oh, sorry i did i think url would be this one okay and here this would be booking id and this is the body and this body i am 
going to update this is the same body what we have created the request and same body here you can see here there is no difference okay everything same so what i'm going i am removing this first part existing and now i need to update this body so one thing only one thing i'll update what i'll update create booking right i have you know created created additional needs with like breakfast and this random integer and now update booking what i'll do in pre request i'm going to say i want breakfast and dinner okay dinner okay let me hit this request invalid okay here you can see in the header we need to pass this token so token i have captured already so here this is a token in variable token and this token i have passed here this value and now let me hit okay let me generate token new token okay now let me hit okay something is going wrong oh sorry https url was wrong okay so in update booking what i am doing in pre request just i have updated breakfast and dinner with this random integer and the body is same whatever you know i was using earlier and and when i am hitting this request it will take breakfast and dinner okay now let me try to add the test cases so one is a 200 and next is a first name and last name check in date check out date okay and additional needs and this time it will automatically see if you go here right in variable you can see breakfast and dinner 7 out 4 and now let me click on save and let me hit and here here you can see all six test cases pass after update the request okay now let me move on next request called partial update booking okay let me copy this curl and click on import raw text and click on import and click on save and this is called partial update booking and this request called patch because we are you know updating few details not you know complete the payload and that's why this is called the patch and here in in this request you can see the first name and last name okay you know updating so what i'll do and first name and last name it was sachin gupta and if i go and create request let me copy this thing partial i am going to pre request my surname i will append it one you know number this would be perfect use case j u p t a this is not required okay and same i am going to use first name here and last name okay so try to understand what i am doing here in pre request my first name is same i am not changing anything okay and uh, you know just it will override okay and uh, in last name my last name and it will append one random integer number let me hit forbidden because here i need to pass this token here as well token okay now let me hit and if you go here you can see here sachin gupta 163 one random number it has appended and in partial update you can see here sachin gupta 
and other details are same and now let me add the test cases okay so this is the test case this would be the same i forgot to pass here this booking id okay now it's fine okay here you can see all test case pass okay now if you want you can you know hit get request again this duplicate you can add here and get request and you can hit again and here you can see all test cases are passing this is also one use case okay you can hit the get request after you know partial update and now last request called del delete booking let's automate this okay click on import raw text click on save and this is called delete booking and here booking id need to pass in header you need to pass the token and let me click on send and here you can see it's success 201 and here i can add the test is called status called 201 okay and if i execute again it will fail because this time the request is not exist right and if you execute right it will give some different code like 405 method not allowed allowed because that request you know this id doesn't exist it has de deleted okay so you what i'll do i will create copy of here okay so this is get booking okay you can rename whatever you want okay and if i execute i'll got you know something 404 and this is also a use case or not for after after you know delete the booking if i hit the request for the get then i should get the 404 request not found okay and this test case should pass and this is a complete flow you can see here and every every request having one test case okay all right and this is the chaining request if you want to hit this patch it will fail because booking id didn't exist okay so this is called chaining each request dependent you know different request so first request so this is the first token and we are using in different request so and delete delete booking we can delete the booking when we are having one booking id okay so this is called the chaining request and if you want you can execute all as a collection just click here click on run i have selected this parent folder it's called the collection and just click on execute here you can see here view summary all test case pass okay if you click on view summary this is the summary i think it's clear this will help you to you know understand you know chaining requests how how can we automate chaining requests you may postman and this you can export and after exporting it will create one json and that json you can execute using by command line or you can see the new main which will generate the report as well as you can execute in ci cd you can execute in github or jenkins on daily basis that's what i want to cover in this tutorial thank you hope you like this thank you happy learning